everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show you another really traditional German cake and um, it's called a uh, Russischer Zupfkuchen which literally translates to Russian like pulled cake or teared cake um, don't really know where the name comes from um, it has nothing to do with what the cake actually is so it's basically a baked cheesecake that has like a chocolate base and sides and then you fill in the cheesecake filling and then you use some of the leftover base to like sort of sprinkle I guess that's where like the zupf um, like scattery part comes from but yeah you basically just put that all over the um, top of the cake so that that bakes into it so yeah it's a really easy cake to do everything goes into one bowl for the base another bowl for the filling whack it in the oven and you're done so yeah let's just um, get straight into it the exact quantities um, can be found on my blog, but to make the chocolate base, you will need flour, butter, caster sugar, two medium eggs that um, I've beaten and I won't use all of them for the chocolate base. Some of them will be reserved for the cheesecake filling. Um, 15 grams of cocoa powder, some baking powder and a pinch of salt. I have also prepared my baking tin, so this is a 20 centimeter deep round tin with a spring clip and um, I've greased it lightly and then dusted it with flour. And then all you have to do is add all the ingredients to a bowl. Um, for the eggs I only use 3 tablespoons of the egg, the rest is for the filling. And yes, you combine them all in a bowl and then get your electric beaters and start whisking them together until they form a breadcrumb like texture. And then once it starts to come together, get your hands in there and knead it together into a smooth dough. And then you're ready to prepare the tin. So take about two thirds of the dough and reserve um, the remaining third for later. And then I like to take little bits at a time and sort of work the dough round the edges of the cake tin till about three quarters the way up. And then I use the remaining dough to fill the bottom of the cake tin. So just continue that until you have an even layer of dough around the sides and the bottom of the tin and then you can place the base and the leftover um, chocolate dough into the fridge whilst you prepare the filling. And then for the filling you will need some caster sugar single cream, some butter that's either very soft or almost melted, a little bit of corn flour, vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, uh, the zest of a lemon and then of course quack which is the main component really of this German baked cheesecake filling. And then again it's just a matter of combining all of the ingredients in a bowl giving them a whisk and just making sure the filling is nice and smooth. And then you can go ahead and remove the base from the fridge again and carefully pour the cheesecake mix into the tin. And then comes the fun part, which is using the leftover chocolate dough and um, ripping that up into small pieces and then sort of scattering it evenly across the top of your cake to make a nice little pattern. just gone into the oven and um, the oven's at 180 degrees fan I'm just going to bake it for about 40 to 50 minutes until the filling is set 
And then as with a lot of like cheesecakes, but especially German cheesecakes, um, you need to leave it to cool completely on a wire rack and then chill it in the fridge for at least an hour or two for the best results because you really want it to be nice and firm when you cut into it. So yeah, I'll um, wait for the cake to bake, uh, put it in the fridge for a few hours and I will see you again later when it's time for the big reveal and the tasting. <laughs> A few hours later, um, the cake has cooled and chilled in the fridge. Um, I've taken it out of its tin, and um, yeah, here's the finished product. Uh, so yeah, this is the cake. I have cut out a piece already to try, but this is what it looks like. Dusted it with a little bit of icing sugar just to decorate, and um, yeah, here is the cake. So, the moment of truth. Let's give it a try. Mmm, I love this cake. This is one of my absolute favourites. It's so easy to make. Um, the cream is lovely and light with the quark in there. Not the quark <laughs> uh, in there. It makes it really, really light. The lemon zest just adds that extra je ne sais quoi. The chocolate with the cream, it's so good. Uh, this, I mean, I'd really recommend you make this. It's so easy to make. As you saw, all you do is bang everything together bake it and leave it to cool. cool. Um, also this is a recipe for a 20 centimeter tin so I've come up with this recipe because um, normally they're really big like 26 centimeter, 30 centimeter tins so this is like a nice small size if you're not wanting to make an absolutely huge cake um, and you just want to serve maybe six, seven, eight people. Right, so that's my recipe for a German Zupfkuchen. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, the recipe will be on my blog. I'll leave a link in the description below. Please do let me know if you give this recipe a try and if there's any other recipes you want me to make in the future. Um, until then, I'd really appreciate if you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, check out the other posts on my blog. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, happy baking and I will see you next time.